You have been well trained. No, you don't have to carry a sword to be powerful. No. I won't fail you. Oh, do not. I'm not afraid. There is no trade. That's a Mr. Muppet to you. Mr. Ah, uh, we've seen both these players a couple of times on stream. Uh, this is uh, listed as table uh, table two, I think, for this round. Okay. Yeah, they're definitely, um, they've been on here. They're doing really well in the tournament. So, yeah, expect to see them on the stream. This will be the last round. So we'll see a matchup where this is going to be an exciting matchup. You know, I was, I was expecting to see the uh, Snoke deck up in here, but, you know, seeing the... Uh, the mill versus the Dooku Talzin is going to be quite exciting. Wait, what's happening? Oh. Oh. Branding. <laughs> <laughs> gotta love it. We just got to make sure that, you know, we can see everything. That's what's most important. <laughs> <laughs> so we should just go ahead and put the other clay mat over there. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I like these Nova mats. They're pretty cool. Yeah. I kind of want one. It's good stuff. So, what do you think is going to get this game? Um, I don't know. It's going to be tough. Uh, I don't know. You don't know? You want me to tell you who I think is going to win this game? I think you think Jeff's going to win this game. I think Jeff's going to win this game. I think this is going to be a good matchup for him. Um, why, why do you say that? Because, uh, you know, he's, going, he's running blue dice or blue uh he can only run so many different mitigation for blue you know he's going to have a, a, da a nice damage package but at the same time i just think that mill is so strong that he can enter the garbage chute and just eat some of those damage dice up and then overall i just you know his opening hand looks pretty strong too i think he has a force meditation and a pod racer so he can have some uh definitely some good uh options there but of course we'll Dooku's not going to do that uh, double three sides on his dice because he doesn't want an easy picking so something to think about as well but you never know it's just whatever the cards show we'll see I mean of course you know as the chat is mentioning here the consistency of Dooku Talzin is pretty strong it is strong uh, but the removal power uh, that the mill deck brings to this is also quite potent. You know, starting out with a double blank is not the greatest, but you can just go ahead and just focus that to a uh, uh, to range, damage yep. side. Yep, for sure. Pacify probably in his opening hand, maybe, or a hidden motive. Let's find out. Wait for it, wait for it. Jeff's going to make some careful plays here. Uh, we've got it's going to take bartering. the damage. Interesting. Coming right. out first. Yeah, he's going to he's gonna own that damage. Knowing, I think, uh, that that more damage is going to be mitigatable in the future. Mm -hmm. um, and maybe just baiting to see who he's going to go after first. Who's going to be that first target? Yeah. Two resource sides. Not too bad. Ancient lightsaber down. Another... You know, anti mill card, if you think about it. You can always put that card back in your library or in your deck. That's true. To get it back. That's true. I mean, you're not going to be using Ancient for its healing ability, which means it's always right. going to be there for its damage potential. Mm -hmm. um, and got to get this out of the hand sooner right. before uh, before that hand discard. If he plays Vandalize, he'll get rid of it. Look at that damage. Mm. So if he's going to be running a uh, entangle or something to get rid of that, or he's got the pacify, so he can get rid of that die for that. There you go. So at least he's not going to have to worry about the die until he gets that Talzin die or something to uh, focus the Dooku die to mm -hmm. damage. Saving that pacifier because that uh, Talzin dies two damage is a little bit different than taking three to five because of uh, 
that ancient lightsaber on there, so it was kind of a, a nice little play there. Just weighed it out. It's important. So now Yoda still hasn't activated yet, or Anakin. Anakin's probably going to get yourself a... Is that a discard? What? He did claim, so it looks like he's going to just go ahead and have a field day with his uh, dice. Yoda's yeah, too focused to focus the other Yoda to a special, mm -hmm. uh, Anakin to a discard. So get a shield for Yoda, get a discard out of his hand, get rid of that, Let's see what it is. Mm -hmm. Overconfidence. So it's definitely a, a good, good card to help out some mitigation on his end too. Not always getting the, you know, getting your hand, your dice mitigated is just as bad as getting your cards taken out as well. It's a good opening turn though for uh, for Jeff. He's got you know bartering and pod racer out. Yoda, Yoda to take a couple damage. He did get an up upgrade out into the discard deck uh, for Nick, so he's looking good on that. You know, Dooku's got the ancient lightsaber, so he's going to be playing some pressure. Oh, and binds all things is pretty good too. Pretty good. Yeah. Binds all things is so good. It just pays itself back later. Well, I mean, in this in this state of the meta right now, we're looking at uh, decks that can generate resources really quickly. And if you can, you got to figure out a way to make mm -hmm. things cheaper to stay ahead of the curve. Uh, Binds All Things is definitely uh, can do that for you. Those vehicle decks using Tech Team uh, to do the same thing. Right. Ooh, he's going to lose two cards. So he's got three left in his deck, or in his hand. He's going to lose two of them. Well, he used crystal ball to look at the yeah. top part of the deck, and now choosing to use uh, Tal's action. Because he wants Maybe. to get rid of that discard side because he doesn't have anything to stop it right now, it looks like. So he's he is choosing. So that does mean that Jeff's probably sitting on odd numbered card. Mm -hmm. Or maybe not. No, he, yeah. he can't do it, yeah. Oh, let me look at that. Let me look at that one. What does that one do? Unyielding, is that what it is? Makes, Makes the damage unblockable, I believe. That's what it was. Switching Tiles into the two range. Of course, uh, Tiles and then Crystal Ball still sitting on some focus, which will help when Dooku rolls in. Definitely. Leaves him at one card left in his hand. I believe he has three. Got rid of uh, all in. All in. Yep. Uh, Cassian to get some uh, some more pressure on the hand. Looks like a discard and a, uh, and a special, special. bordering. Yeah. Ooh, Dooku with double blanks. Not I'm fixing Dooku's die. Give him a couple of a uh, couple melee there. Mm -hmm. It's a good time to. Uh, if mm -hmm. He hasn't entangled. Get rid of the damage and the focus. I would help. Jeff is sitting on a fair number of resources, at least four uh, over there, whereas Nick only has two. Yeah, getting rid of that all-in is crucial, because he could have done some major damage. Mm -hmm. 
Jeff doesn't seem to be, uh, he's either unable or unwilling uh, to mitigate those dice that are on the table. Can to get rid of his last card, it looks like. Yep. Nick's gonna... Oh, he's got two cards left. Uh, get rid of that witch magic. Nick's got one more card in hand. Oh, got rid of the unyielding, too. Yep. He's got one left. Cast his action. So we've got the special on bartering. We've got, uh, a, looks like a resource side on Anakin. Just sitting there. Mm-hmm. And uh, Yoda has yet to roll in, uh, so still some options to get some more cards off of Nick's deck here. Oh, and he had the other all in sitting in his hand, so uh, go Ouch. ahead and uh, optimize his dice, so his focus sitting on there. And I'll try to kill one. We'll go Anakin. kill Anakin. Yep. Three and two. And Anakin's gone. Mm -hmm. Wow. Gotten rid of the cards out of his hand, and he had the other all in. Ouch. Yeah, and that was a... Move. That's not what you want to see. Definitely good fortune for Nick to have avoided getting that mm -hmm. card uh, tossed out of his hands. Yeah, and that's what it is sometimes. None of the, just... none of the all ins are uh, right. accessible anymore. Both have been used. So he claimed mm -hmm. to get rid of the special. There's no cards left in his hand. So that discard side for Yoda isn't. Unless he can have each player draw a card. And then he can discard it too. If that is a discard, I believe that's a discard. Mm -hmm. Draw a card. He's gonna discard it with Yoda. No, he would. He should. Nick's not even looking at it. <laughs> he knows it's gone. <laughs> Doesn't even want to think about the possibilities. Was that, maybe that wasn't a discard? Is it a shield? Disrupt? It's hard to tell what that is. Which one do you like? The one that he just, he looked at. He didn't look like he discarded a card. Was Yoda sure. just a shield sign then? Yeah. Was it not a discard? So he, did he put the shield on Cassie? Thank you, Inception. Like yes. yes, it was a shield, not a discard. Yeah. Got five resources out there, so he doesn't have many cards in his discard pile right now. So right now Jeff is uh he needs to get a little bit more aggressive. He needs to get a force meditation down, apply some more pressure because he doesn't have so many cards in there. And uh, Nick's discard. Ooh, he just dropped down another crystal ball. Look at all that focus. Focus for days. All right, Talos is coming in with the two crystal balls. Uh, You're welcome. <laughs> I'm such a... Middle schooler right now. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> Dawson. Uh, yeah, it's been a long day. I'm sorry. Um, okay, so let's see what uh, he's going to do some. He's going to look at some cards here, see what he can do with uh, Talzin. He's going to look at his. He's going to look at his opponent's top deck card as well. No? say right now it's uh 60 40 nick in this matchup currently are oh, you thinking nick's on the yeah. on the up and up here yeah i mean anakin does slow down the slow down the hand discard but doesn't slow down the the overall mill all that much right, right? but right now he doesn't have a force meditation in play and he hasn't mm. been able to use it fair but he does have pod racer which he can only take off the deck now instead of the hand so it's just right now he needs some more he needs another engine to, to get some more cards going off the top of the deck because right now he's not milling fast enough. Alright, he's going to entangle, get rid of those dice.
right. So he's going to get some more yeah. uh, melee show on here. This will be a good time for uh, into the garbage chute. Into the garbage chute, yeah, of course. Interesting. Must hurt to use that on Yoda. Oh, though. man, that's why Anakin's so good. He's that, uh, hey, I'm going to use you for uh, suck up, not worry about some damage. But when you have to do it on your Yoda dice, that's just, that hurts so bad. But hey, get to see another round. Force wave, got rid of that. A couple of range damage coming in, mm -hmm. or at least a range damage a range, coming yeah. in. Yeah, I'm getting a shield off Yoda. I mean, they both got two shields on them right now. I mean, there's, there's some longevity. To, you, to your point, the. The speed at which the milling is going to happen right. is, is going to be slower. Right. Uh, Striker, this is the second table. Table two. He's going to have to decide if he has to keep some of these cars because he needs to get Force Meditation. Second chance is great, but right now he needs to draw. He's only drawing one card, and if he doesn't get a Force Meditation. Mm-hmm. You know, bartering helps with a card draw, but he needs some. Um, he needs. He needs some help. Force jump would be nice. Now Talzin has a uh, four speed on her, so mm. this gonna get game this. is uh, speeding up it's tremendously. It's getting a little scary. Some uh, resource side showing there. He binds all things. He's gonna play the Dagger of Mortis on Dooku. See, right now, you know, you know, Nick is loading up his characters, and this is not good for uh, Jeff right now. Rolling out five dice. It's gonna be a total of eight dice or nine total dice. He's gonna have to deal with. Of course, all players today uh, fighting to be one of the top 16 player uh, finishers uh, in today's Swiss round. The top 32 will get that uh, sweet double-sided uh, Luke Boba Fett alt art card. Uh, the top 16 will return on day two for uh, a elimination style tournament mm -hmm. uh, to crown the national champion. So uh, it'll be interesting to see um, if Jeff. Uh, ends up not winning this game where he'll place if he'll uh, drop below that 16 uh, or if he'll just squeak by. I mean, I think he, if he's 5-2 and two right now and he does lose, his tiebreaker should help push him. Mm -hmm. to Strength of schedule should yeah. be pretty high given the opponents he played. Putting second chance on Cassian. He needs to get rid of some, uh, some upgrades in his hand, hoping to... Uh, Get some cards out so you can get some force meditation now. Hopefully, he needs something because right now he's way behind in mill. He's gonna use his four speed, he's gonna activate Dooku, he's gonna try to put some, hopefully, get a good roll out gonna resolve put his three for one for uh, Dooku and probably do some extra damage put it on Yoda decision to be made here Putting four damage on Yoda, so he's at six. Yeah. Right now he's I mean he doesn't even have a force illusion now. He you know, second chance on casting is great, but you know, you want to do a second chance late game where you know you feel like you're in control of everything. But right now it's just it's He's playing, he's trying to play catch up. He 
he is uh, having him discard a couple of cards because of the clan uh, the operation. He's got two uh, melee or two resource sides showing, so he gets to mill that many cards. He'd rather use that with some specials, but hey, two cards is two cards. But with using uh, Cassian's ability as well, he gets three cards total for it, so that, that works out pretty good. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm not, I wonder what Oliver's eating. Do you have any I, I think he's eating Cheerios. Could be. Yeah. All right, as long as he's not eating glue. Um, so. Hi, Momo. Hi, Momo. Are you. Are you. Your ear hurts? <laughs> okay, mommy's gonna look at it, okay? I don't know, that was good color commentary though. Yeah, I was that guy who said, hey, excuse me, um, I'm nice that you're talking about your kid, but we're trying to do this to <laughs> Always that one guy. Um, but yeah, so would I miss anything exciting? Um, there's Any lots of upgrades on the left side, and there's a lot of damage on the right side. Mm, yeah. So this is uh, uh, just a matter of time. I think right now, Dooku and Talzin is doing really well, as you can see. You know, they're loaded up with upgrades. It's just, and he's got four speed out. It's just a matter of time. Not getting a force meditation out is rough. Set. Let's do this thing. It's gonna probably roll out, get towels, and hopefully get a four speed on there, and then just go to town. Jeff is definitely sitting on a ton of resources, but not sure what he's uh, gonna be able to do with them at this point. Yeah, not much. So four speed is out. So he's gonna have to try to st stop the action cheat. Look at that. It's got a flame to the past showing, so it's a two. So you can't really mess with that dice. So, yeah, so he's going to, is that a force speed? a force illusion. For, no, he's got the force speed special. Oh, force illusion, yes. So he's yeah. just going to try ahead and take out Yoda this round if he doesn't manipulate the uh, force speed die. Mm -hmm. And the, the focus sides on the crystal ball is going to be really, really nice to, to fix the rest of the dice that he needs. and rend. He rended the four-speed die. That's a uh, good play. Yep. Yoda still goes down, but he just stops the action cheating there for a bit. Cassian is left. The second chance in bartering. He's got a special in a blink. Pod racer has not been rolled out yet. on rolling out Dooku. Gonna apply some pressure on uh, on Jeff here by just putting that damage side on. Mm -hmm. I mean, still still a ways away for uh, for Cassian there uh, with the shields and the second chance sitting over there. But Nick's gonna have a pretty easy time, I think, of getting. The, the right amount of damage to get rid of him. Mm -hmm. It's got what five resources showing, but you know, resources are nice and all, but you've got one character left and against a loaded up squad on the other side.
Oh man. Great roll for Dooku. Uh, and yep. Wonder if he keeps the battlefield. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Have mine. Drops a pot First of all, time hyperspace jump, getting rid of those seven damage. Yeah. Uh, that we're showing over there. But is it enough? Um, I'm gonna go with uh, no. Unfortunately, I think uh, <laughs> you know he does no. have a second chance uh, in his hand, unless he just played it. Um, so he's just he's just gonna keep putting pressure on him, mm -hmm. and he's still not making enough. You know, he can't even use force meditation now because Yoda's down. So it's just. He's just going to have to keep dealing with all the damage coming out there. He's going to have to use all of his mitigation, and it's just, it's an uphill climb. But, you know, miracles do happen. Well, without there being a choice, Cassian rolls in. Yeah. A resource and a blank. I mean, all, all uh, you know, Nick can do, too, is he can just uh, manipulate his dice, too. And just all he can do now is just mitigate. Gonna give himself a resource and have him mill a card. Looks like Nick's got three, four five. cards, five oh. cards in his deck. Four cards in his deck. One, that's two, his hand. three. That's his hands. Oh. Where's his deck? Up top. Oh, maybe that is his uh, deck. That's his hand. That's his deck. Okay. Four cards left in deck. Whatever's left in hand. But I don't know if Cassian's gonna be able to survive. I mean, we'll see. So what kind of onslaught he's able to provide here. Nick's got to determine, is he, is he going to discard a reroll to get more optimal damage? Choosing to get uh, damage off before mm -hmm. Jeff can mitigate. Now he's going to start using those shield sides for... Uh from the Dooku, uh, for the uh, pod racer, but he just looks like he just got rid of it with Feel Your Anger. Mm -hmm. He pitched a card to reroll. He pitched Force Meditation. He just drew it now. That's, that's, uh, ugh. Yeah. But he did roll a discard yeah, side. So. Discard. Glass all over the table. Good stuff. <laughs> Ah, Beguile. Yeah. Let's uh, re-roll one. Re-roll the damage side. Of course. And it rolls another damage, so we're going to blank it. And remove his damage. There you go. Yeah, fair. Beguile manipulates three dice. It's pretty two. good. It's pretty good. And gets rid of one. MVP card right there. That card just... Beguile, MVP. That card's so good. So he claimed. Looks like uh, he's got two cards left in his hand. Oh, I mean, is Cassie never going to die? Oof, you're right. Let's see how many cards he's got left. You never know, man. You just never know in this game. One. Uh, right. uh, uh, that's it. So he's got four cards. Maybe I don't know. I thought he had a little bit more cards in his deck. You know what? Let's go. Let's go for the uh, hail mary over here. All right. So we'll see. Two second chances. So Nick's got to chew through 17, 17 damage. He's got to do seventeen damage before Cassian dies. Just, but it's doable. I mean, it is, is doable. But if he can just start, but it's going to take him two turns. He's got to make sure he's got yeah. something to hold on to at the end of this turn. He also has got Force Illusion. If he does draw it, he's looking. Does he have any more? Uh... He's still got the easy pickings and the entangle. So he's like, I'm gonna eat that damage. See what I can do with my two dice. Right. Oh, two dice. Special. 
At least he can draw a card. Rolled out the pod racer, got a plus, looks like a uh, modifier for the uh, resource side. Tangle. Ooh, he can tr totally draw that up with uh, his uh, bartering. That would be nice. Easy pickings. Got rid of two dice. Focus sides. And, and uh, Nick can't throw out any of his cars because he's going to need those. But at the same time, Ooh. he can... Uh, pitch to re-roll to get some uh, discard sides showing. All three of them have discard sides. Well, got you, one of them. You got one of them. He's got to get rid of four cards. He's going to claim. So he's going to go ahead and... Uh, ooh, ooh, that would have been good to have. So he's going to go ahead and draw a card. He's going to have more reroll action here. Discard one card. We're enamored. We're enamored with this uh, particular match right here. Is, this is pretty good. It's getting close. Yeah, it's, it's getting close really close. Especially with that second, the double second chance. What are we, three, four? Is that four cards in Nick's hands? Uh, Nick should have three. Because he had four, and then he dropped. Is that four? Uh, it looks like four. Is it four? Okay. Still hasn't triggered any of the second chances, so we're still looking at, with the shield, seven, 13 damage needs to be had. So he needs to take out a Grievous, is that what you're saying? <laughs> Grievous worth the uh, And he rolls into... Oh! He rolls into seven. It's pretty good. Yeah, but he's going to just beguile it. Nice draw up into that beguile. It's always nice. Damage. Blank. Remove. Seven damage becomes one. <laughs> <sighs> That's why beguile's so good. Ridiculous. Tiles and activates can't manipulate his, but he can manipulate Jeff's die. But nothing in play, so it doesn't matter at this point. That's a lot of damage to chew through right now. It's second chances. Man, I tell you what, that's some good timing. To get those that one turn and then another one. Yeah, Jeff's sitting on sitting on an entangle. So yeah. it's not going to happen. So he's going to put pressure on Nick because he's got the battlefield. So if he can get one card out of his hand, he can just claim and then just, you know, keep putting pressure on that hand. They swap battlefields. Yeah, I know. Should have Imperial Palace. No, it's the War Torn Streets. Oh, was it? He switched it to that? Yeah. Okay. With the hyperspace jump. Mm -hmm. Draw a card, get a resource. Nine. Rosa Blank. Card draw that he has now, I just try to get some more discard and get rid of it. It's gonna deflect it into him, pops his first second chance. Puts him at five life. <laughs> yeah. It's 
got a lot of he's got some mitigation in his hand though, but he also has rubble, so he could play second chance back if need be, mm -hmm. or he can put some uh, an upgrade into play that could help him out like another bartering. He's got discard side. Time in the round. Wow. He's not going to be able to beat him. Nope. And Jeff had to concede. Woo. Ooh, that was close. So Nick wins this one. Jeff wasn't able to uh, discard fast enough. Uh, Nick's able to hold him to his hand, obviously, in, the, in that round. Uh, not needing to do anything else because, you know, at that yeah. point, Jeff has no ability to discard cards from his hand. So Jeff wins, or Nick wins on time uh, with damage dealt. Yeah, as I mean, Jeff was unable. Look, he had the two Force Illusions, and uh, yeah, he had the Rebel card he could have used. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's just, oof. That's yeah, just, I mean, Jeff was in a good spot, but. Just didn't have enough time. So. Woo. That wraps up day one. That does wrap up day one. Day one is done. Day done, one day is done, done is day one. Uh, Thanks, everyone, for watching. Uh, you can head over to our Facebook page. We'll have final results as soon as they're posted. Uh, we will be back tomorrow for day two. Uh, we'll, we'll mix up the commentary a little bit. Right, yeah. Uh, we got some, some folks stepping in to give me and Ruben a little bit of a break. Yeah, we'll go with that. But uh, thanks, guys, for hanging out with us today.